My name is Naomi Riches and I was part of the Great Britain Paralympic rowing team for nine and a half years. As they come to the finish line and it's going to be gold medal for last season's world champions. Great Britain take the gold. They've done it. The British have got a gold at the Paralympics. This is now their moment in the sun, the last event of what I think has been a fantastic Paralympic regatta. With the team, I won an awful lot of medals, including this one, a gold at the London 2012 Paralympics. Very exciting, and I'm really pleased to be able to show you this today. Since I retired from Paralympic rowing in 2013, I've been looking for another challenge, and I think I've found it. Guess what? It involves rowing. I have decided to row down the Thames from Lechlade Bridge, 165 miles to Gravesend Royal Pier. I hope to set a new world record as the fastest woman to row down the Thames in a single skull. I'm not just doing this for fun though, I need a reason. And I found a reason because in 2014, a lovely lady called Liz asked me to become patron of her charity. Her charity is called In Vision, and the In stands for Infantile Nystagmus. I was in the Paralympic rowing team because I'm visually impaired and one of the many eye conditions I have is nystagmus. In Vision are trying to find a cure for nystagmus and also trying to find different ways to deal with the eye condition. Not only do I have nystagmus, which means that my eyes move around and I find it hard to focus, but I also have cone dystrophy and this means I can't see any colour at all. I'm rowing 165 miles. I'm calling it my 165 challenge. I want to know what's your 165 challenge? Can you come up with an idea that involves the number 165 and help me raise money for InVision? You know what's gonna get me through the really tough times during this row? It's knowing that people like you are helping me raise 165,000 pounds for charity. I'm not only doing this row to raise money for InVision, I'm doing this to make a point. Just because you have something that you feel might limit you does not mean you cannot do amazing things. For me, what I always thought held me back was my eyesight, but I've never really let it stop me. I've always been very, very determined. So no matter what you think is holding you back, there is still a lot of amazing stuff that you can do. I want you guys to prove to me that you can do amazing things as well and that nothing will hold you back. What can you do to raise money and awareness at your school? What can you do to help me down that river and help me to reach my £165,000 target?